Welcome to the Diligent Minds Podcast. I'm your host, Dorian Jones. I make personal development easy so that you can achieve your goals, do all the things you put your mind to, give you motivation, and so much more. It's time for you to step up, do the work, and become the best version of yourself. Let's go ahead and dive right into the show. What's going on, Diligent Minds community? I'd like to welcome you all, old and new, to another episode of the Diligent Minds Podcast. I hope you're having a great morning, afternoon, evening, Whatever it is, when you're listening to this right now, I hope you're in great spirits, great health, and your week is starting off right. I'd like to ask a huge favor of you. Can you please leave a rating and review on Apple Podcasts and share this with a friend who you feel may benefit as well? Helps me grow the show, and I truly appreciate every single one of you. As usual, all the links are down in the show notes for the coaching program, the book, the planner. Also, for the steps to help you overcome procrastination, that link is down below so you can get those free steps to you right away. So you can stop procrastinating and start hitting the goals that you set for yourself. I created that for you with you in mind. These are things that I tried and the ones that really helped. This is not the ones I tried like, okay, this is cool to put in there. No, these are the things that were key to me. Stop procrastinating myself. So I put these into a quick PDF so that you could download it and And review them and start to implement it in your life. I want to help you. I want you to become better. I want you to achieve all the things you put your mind to. Today's episode, we're talking about becoming more patient. If you're impatient, becoming patient is a long term game that requires you being intentional and patient. It'll be nice for things to happen right when we when we want them to. But that's not always the way that life works, though. Life always has its own plans for us. I'm telling you, it's. It's one of the things you like, dang, well, life, life, like, why are you doing that to me? And having patience is one part of your life. And it doesn't mean that you have it in all aspects of your life. You may just have it in in one section. You may be patient with your kids. You may be patient with with your family. But outside of that, like you have no patience. But if you do have some type of patience, you can easily begin to adopt it in other parts of your life as well. And that's what we're going to dive into in today's episode. We're going to get into it. I'm going to tell you how you can become more patient in your life overall. Let's get into it right now. So when we're thinking about patience, I want you to change your perspective on what it is that you're trying to rush. When I used to sit in that L.A. traffic when I was working and when I was driving And just going from site to site, I used to get so pissed every single time. I get on any one of those freeways, 101, the 10, 405, 105, 110, it does not matter. Every single day, I will ask myself, like, why is it taking me an hour and a half to just travel five to 10 miles? This makes no sense at all. I'll be better off just taking the streets. And I soon noticed that rushing and getting frustrated didn't change a thing. I used to sit in that traffic every single day and I complain. I'm sitting there. Oh, I got to go through this again. Here we go again. Knowing that I was going to face it when I did get onto the freeway. So I brought it on to myself in a sense. I noticed that I was the only one being affected by that. No matter what was going on, I was the one dealing with it and I was choosing to. I could have taken surface streets and I know LA like the back of my hand. So I could have just taken any other route and got to where I wanted to much faster. But I chose to deal with it. And after dealing with it for so long, I began to tell myself that no matter how mad I may be, the traffic wasn't going to move any faster. So why would I bring that unnecessary stress to myself? And that was one of my first introductions and practices to becoming patient. I was forced to do it, honestly. I was really forced to because I had no choice. I wasn't about to move the rest of those cars. I wasn't in control of that outcome or, or that situation. And I then took the approach to other parts of my life, saying that nothing would change if I got somewhere late. And I'm someone who's very punctual. I believe that if you're on time, you're late. And other times it's out of your control. So I get it. But when I was driving to a lot of these appointments and everything, I noticed that if I had gotten there on time, gotten there early, gotten there 10 minutes later, the outcome would not have been any different. So why would I put that extra stress onto myself? Why would I put all of these unnecessary factors that I can't control into the equation to control how I feel and how much my patience is working? As I said, that was the first step to me understanding the importance of being patient. Like, you know what? You can't go anywhere. So utilize this time to the best of your abilities. Find a way to make this work for you. And it carry over into other parts of my life. And you got to find patience in your day to day. 
Begin to practice patience on like all the things you do every single day, all your day to day activities. Being pleasant to others, being present and fully enjoying the current moment will help you. If you go in the morning, you go get your coffee or you go and do your daily routines, like just chill like, oh, it's taking forever for my coffee. Just relax, sit in the moment, speak to other people, just show joy, just show joy in what's going on right now and just be happy that you're able to sit in that moment. Be happy that you're able to sit in that silence that you may not get for the rest of the day. In the moment you begin to master patience with things you deal with every day, it becomes easy to do so in other parts of your life. And now you're retraining your subconscious mind. You are intentionally forcing yourself to be patient in situations that would have otherwise blew you over. Other times you would have went off on people like, why is it taking so long showing all your frustrations when in reality it will not change anything? So just chill, sit there, be patient. Of course, I'm not saying just let anybody walk over you. Nah, that's not happening. I'm talking about just being patient with the circumstances, being patient with with what's going on. How can you control? How can your anger control the outcome of whatever the situation may be at the moment? I'm pretty sure you've seen those people who just lash out. They just go crazy when things are not going their way. I want to speak to a manager. I want to talk to this person. I want to talk to that person. They're just making a scene. In reality, it's not going to change anything like, ma'am, sir, calm down. Look, the machine is down. This is happening. We can't do anything. All of that unnecessary negative emotion is being brought out for no reason. Like, just remain calm and composed and like, you know what? All right, let this be behind me. And I go on about my day. When we go after something in our life, we typically want it to happen right now. We want that freedom of time and, and that money or whatever it is that we seeking to come sooner than later. I learned that I had to delay gratification. I always wanted everything right now, but I had to wait a bit. I had to learn patience in the long term game. I learned that the longer you wait and keep showing up, the greater the rewards become. I used to get so anxious when I began a new project, like when I began the podcast, when I wrote my book, when I published my book. I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm about to sell thousands of copies, 10, 20,000 copies. Nah, it didn't happen like that. It's more work that you have to do. It's patience that you have to that you have to possess in order to make these things come, because sometimes they don't come when you want them to. But they come later down the line. And I was excited for what I see becoming in the long term. I learned to see, OK, I see that it's not happening right now, but I do have faith that it will happen. Sometimes losing sight of the realities that I'll face on the path to get there. I was excited for what I see things becoming in the long term. That was something that I picked up on as I as I continued to practice patience in my life. At times, I would lose sight of the realities that I'll face on the path to get to that long term goal or to continue on that long term journey. I lose patience in it because I'm like, you know what? Let me get there right now. Why is it not happening right now? Because you feel like you are just applying yourself. You're doing all the work to you. You've been doing more with the, than what the next person is doing. So why are you not getting those results? Why are you not getting it right now? I need to change something up. No, you may be doing the right thing, but it may not be your time yet, especially if you've already made different changes and you are starting to see like progress, but it's slow progress. That's good. You can always adjust, but don't feel like you need to stop and change the trajectory altogether. And the key to remaining patient during this long term journey is persistence and consistency. Focusing on the right now and not what hasn't happened yet. While you focusing on the right now, always keep your future desires in mind so that your current actions keep you on the path to hit what you want in the long term. And since you start something right now, don't expect it to happen right away. Some rare instances, it may happen. Yes. But for most of us. Things happen over a long period of time. That's my, that's most people. You hear these stories all the time. You hear all these people talk about, oh, I was working at it for 10 years, five years, 15, 20 years before I really seen the results that I feel like like are, are what I deserve. Let that be a testament to you as you go along. Some, you must find that thing within you. You must find that drive within you to help you stay consistent and persistent along your journey. When you accept this, you begin to move different and have a different perspective. Show gratitude for what you already have and you'll be blessed with much more. If you're always complaining about what you don't have or how you can't do something because of this and that, you never open yourself up for what you desire. You'll never be able to receive what you're asking for. 
because you being impatient. You're like, man, this ain't working. This not happening for me right now. No, it's happening the exact way that it should. You putting too much energy into the wrong things. Why are you putting that energy into that? Why are you putting energy into what you don't desire? You're going to keep on bringing it into your life. The things that we may take for granted, there are others who plan to have those things. Because even on our worst days, we live like someone on their greatest. Always remember that. Show, show like some type of gratitude for the things that you do have. Show appreciation for what you have right now that you may be overlooking just because it comes to you normally. Because it's not normal for everybody. Your normal day is, a, is like something that somebody is praying for. Somebody else on the outside looking in wish they were in your shoes. Always show gratitude for what you do have. One of the keys to establishing patience in your life is believing that you will get what you want despite how long it may take or any difficulties that you encounter. And I'm going to be real with you right now. I'm going to be super real with you. When I first left my job in the beginning of the pandemic, I swore that I was going to be successful and worth millions in the next year and a half, two years at the most. I had my plan in place and I'm telling you, I was locked in. I was doing everything I needed to do. I was consistent, but life had other plans, though. I got my ass whooped during this time. I'm telling you, it hit me like I didn't know what to do. I had lost all my money that I had due to the stock market crashing and me need money. So I had to take that money out as a loss. I was like, damn, okay, I don't have this money, but I need money right now. So I had to take that money out while I go and figure everything else out. So I took a loss that I didn't expect. So that's why I'm saying life hits you with different things at different times when you unexpect it, when you least expect it, I should say. And it's up to you. How will you bounce back from it? I almost lost my like almost lost my place where I live. I had acquired the most debt that I had ever had in my life during this time. And this point was one of the lowest points I had ever hit in my life mentally and emotionally. And one of the only things that kept me going was my belief that it will all pass. And this is a lesson. I'm like, I'm taking this lesson right now so that when I get to a higher level, I won't make these same mistakes. And my confidence and my abilities played a huge part in me not giving up. I had that belief in myself and I had the confidence in my abilities. I kept telling myself that this is a lesson. I'm happy to learn it now so that I never make this mistake again. So if you ever losing hope at all, I want to tell you to never give up no matter what. Tell yourself that it will all work out. It's a mental battle that you have to win. And that's the hardest part. When you in your own head, you have all these things happening in your life and you have to turn it around. Once you win the mental part of it, the rest comes easy to you. Everything else will come to you. Have confidence in yourself and your abilities. Confidence comes after you continue to move despite whatever you're faced with. As you see yourself overcome these tough times, it'll become a a testament to your abilities. Like, okay, I got over that. Now I'm facing something else. It may be uncomfortable. It may be frustration. This is helping me get to that next level. This is why I'm facing this moment. But I have confidence in myself and I believe that I will get beyond this. That's what's going to help you when you're thinking about like things not coming to you, becoming impatient. Find that confidence and that belief within yourself. And that's going to carry you over. It may take a little time for it to kick in. But trust me. Everything happens for a reason. Everything is not happening to you. It's happening for you. When you begin to feel impatient, you start to get frustrated. You start to overthink things. Focus on the right now and your current wins or your past wins, too. What have you accomplished so far? Some of you may feel like you haven't done anything yet. And I'm going to tell you, that's a lie. That's a lie that we tell ourselves because we want more and we don't feel close to it or we feel like we haven't hit that point yet. We haven't hit that right stride to where we feel like, OK, now I'm now I'm feeling I'm getting there. But you are in motion right now. You've overcome all past battles, whether that be mental, physical or emotional. There's something that you faced in the past that you are now on the other side of. You can now explain to somebody else how they can get past it, how if they facing that thing and they feel like they have no hope at all. You can tell them like, no, I faced that. Like, that's my experience. You have that experience now that you can share with the world, share with other people that you know to help them stay on a journey. Give them some type of hope. These are the things that you should highlight if you're feeling impatient with your progress. You feel impatient with yourself. This is why it's important to set small, achievable goals. It begins to program your mind to success. 
You're proving to yourself that you can complete things and the goals become bigger and bigger and bigger. I tell people all the time when I'm coaching people, sometimes you just have to focus on the small things. Sometimes you have to start at home. You have to say, you know what? I did the dishes today. I did the clothes today. I got all that stuff done. Start to focus on the small things. Of course, we want to get bigger things. They're going to come. But you have to have to focus on the things that you can't control at the moment and start to build that confidence, start to build up that that mental strength that's going to carry you over during all those frustrating times. And as we come to a close of this episode, I want to tell you to make every day your best day. Above all, find happiness in every single day, because for one, you above ground. So you have an opportunity to continue to go after something, continue to make a change for yourself. And look for the positives within your day. All five senses working like you able to sit here. You have the abilities. You have freedom. You got a phone in your hand where every, all the information is at your disposal. There will be some days that that are harder than others, but don't allow these bad days to overshadow the good ones. Don't allow those bad days to to make you feel like your life is a failure. No, you got more good days than bad ones. And it's up to you to continue to repeat these bad days or to create good ones in your life in the future. Trust and believe that everything will come at the right time, not your time. Because we always want to control time. We always want to say when we want things to happen and when they don't happen. We get frustrated. We feel like we failed. We feel like we were just talking. We worried about what other people going to say. Don't worry about that. Everything's going to come in due time. So continue to be patient with yourself. Continue to be patient with the journey. Be patient with the process. Trust and believe. Build that confidence within yourself and continue to push forward no matter what. I know it can be hard. I know it can be frustrating, but you got this, though. You have this. You have to apply yourself and do it intentionally. If I did it, I'm telling you, you can do it. So go out there, become patient with yourself, become patient with your journey, become patient with yourself, with whatever you're chasing in life. And you will get there. Don't forget to check out all the links down in the show notes. Reach out to me on IG, send me a text message or find out more about the coaching program so that I can help you hit the goals that you want to reach and beyond. You hear the outro rolling in. You know what that means? Everybody has greatness within, even you.